This is John from Event Nation. Karen, you just uh, <laughs> finished your dressage test with Mr. Medicott. It was lovely. Uh, what did you think of it? Uh, well, actually, it's the third of the three horses, and I've had a pretty good day. Um, Mr. Medicott continues to improve for me. I get to know him more and more each time I go out there, and he is responding to my strength and my, uh, my uh, level of aid now and so now I can be braver in the dressage and show his real paces and <laughs> I'm so excited right now for uh, what's to come for, for Mr. Medicott uh, with me in the irons. Cool and uh, just talk a little bit about tomorrow. Are you planning on running and uh, just talk about that decision please. Uh, I'm, I'm running. I'm planning yeah. to run. Um, you know unless something unforeseen happens sure. between now and then the horse is fit and he's ready to run and uh, I'm a believer that these horses uh, preparing for a four star or even a three star they need to be practiced and they need to run he hasn't had a run since Kentucky uh, so he is needing of two runs for sure uh, before a summer uh, program uh, but even if he was going to do a fall program uh, he would still need two or three runs so I'm excited about the beginning of his summer season tomorrow and cool. I I plan to um, to take the course very uh, cautiously in, in one way because the course is not that big uh, but for me um, trying to be quite quick between the jumps and jump the jumps at the right pace so I don't leave strides out um, like he, you know he we discovered at Rolex and that's not my plan for tomorrow I want to have uh, close to the time um, but very safe at the jumps within the right number of strides. Cool. And you rode uh, Mandiba earlier today in the two star. Uh, how was he? Uh, I rode Mandiba and he gave me a great ride. He's on a 43, I think. Yep. Uh, so going into the lunch break, he was in the lead by a point or two, a couple points. Um, he's in great form and he's a very happy horse, and uh, we'll see what happens. Um, he's, he's enjoying the two star level uh, and he feels so confident with some of the things that he was less confident with before. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm excited about where he may be after this. Um, and the third horse I was riding, uh, very emotional for me. It's uh, uh, RF Amber Eyes, uh, who is owned by Dick Thompson. Uh, Dick sadly passed away on Monday night unexpectedly. And um, so I'm riding the horse for Dick and uh, want to dedicate my whole weekend to him. Well, thank you very much, Karen, and uh, best of luck the rest of the weekend. Thank you.